I think one of the favorite things about my work is when you realize that you know something that no one else in the whole universe knows. And for that, you know, two weeks to two years before you get it published, you've got an in on some new facet of the universe. And, and that aha moment is what keeps us all, all excited. Right now, I'm working with a spacecraft mission called the Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, and we are trying to understand the process of magnetic reconnection, where two magnetic field lines annihilate each other and release a lot of energy. And we're finding the particle signatures that say, yes, we are at the right spot to see this process happening. Well. I've been doing some numerical modeling of the large-scale magnetic fields around one of these events. And when I looked at the large-scale magnetic field structure, I suddenly understood how three-dimensional reconnection works. Everybody had always talked about three-dimensional reconnection versus two-dimensional reconnection. But when I did the modeling and I traced those field lines and I put our spacecraft right in the right place and then I looked at it and I went, oh, I finally understand it. And those are the aha moments that make all the large amount of work worthwhile. <laughs> the right kind of, of informal science presentation can be a life changer. And that's why I spend a good fraction of my career now not just doing science as a scientist and not just teaching at the collegiate level, but I also teach teachers and I do public outreach. I create planetarium shows and I distribute planetariums because I know it can change people's lives. And what's exciting is to come back and have a kid come to me later on. I was at a a conference for undergraduate women in physics in San Antonio last January. And a girl there majoring in physics uh, was at this conference and I, I asked her where she was from. She was from Brownsville. I said, well, that's terrific. We used to come to Brownsville every year with a NASA space day and we'd have hands-on activities for the kids to do. And, and I always brought my planetarium dome. She says, I remember your planetarium dome. It was awesome and it influenced my career. And when you get one of those coming back at you saying, you know, I, you made a change in my life that now I'm a scientist and I wasn't before, those are the things that just make it all worthwhile. <laughs>